What is going on guys? So we have a HyperX wrist rest here. We've got two of them. We got two HyperX wrist rests here and we got two of them. Uh, I got two of them because uh, they didn't have a small one. And I wish they did have a small one because I didn't really want two huge ones. However, upon reflection, I feel like I maybe made the right decision buying two. Now, why is that? Well, one, in general, uh, it's better to have more area padded than not, I would say. Now, it's also very nice to be able to pad the area that's going to be uh, taken up by your arm and that way and only that area because that way uh, your mouse isn't hitting anything or your keyboard's not hitting anything on your desk you're just giving yourself a little extra space to not worry about anything uh, but I don't know I'm still kind of on the fence about this I've been thinking about how, how it would be nice for my desk if I had a stationary Oh, this actually is very nice. Whoa. Whoa. I wasn't expecting this to be that nice. Um, it's a little weird though, and I'm gonna explain it more so in a second. Let me just get this other idea at first. Uh, the reason why I got two. Um, oh, wow. This is actually way nicer than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, anyway, hold on here. Uh, yeah, this is pretty nice right now, and let me explain why, but like I said, I got two of these, and the reason why I got two of these is because one hand's gonna be over here, the other hand's gonna be over here, and they're constantly moving up and down the pad. Now, if you put it up at an angle like this, you can slide pretty well. Generally, my middle tiny, normally you have like a little, in fact, I'll show you right now. This is the piece of shit I have. It's old, it looks like a piece of shit. Why does it look like a piece of shit? Because it is a piece of shit. Now, this usually ends up being under my arm like this, and then it moves with my arm and it slides with the desk. We don't want that. We'd rather have something stationary and have our arm slide if we're gonna be using it like that. Now, a lot of people probably would argue that uh, you probably don't want to aim like that. Now, that being said, that's how I aim. It's the best way I get my aim. I keep my hand pretty much uh, connected with the mouse and I'm sliding on a surface and I try to keep something, I try to keep my wrist elevated so my wrist isn't hitting the mouse pad and I'm not causing any friction there. So now this in itself may be one of the best fucking things I've ever bought just because literally this fabric feels so damn good. Now the reason why I bought this one specifically was because of the stitching. As you can see right here, it's kind of hard to see, sorry guys. There's stitching here. And the reason why I got this stitching is because, and I'll show you, as this one which has packing tape because it looks like freaking it's exploded. Uh, and this one here, these things freaking, ex they, they, they literally explode. These things are gross. It's just foam inside of some plastic stuff. But who wants to have this thing explode and then get all shifted and disgusting and deformed? Anyway, so I figured getting one that is, has a little bit higher quality make and uh, also has some stitching really wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Now you notice right here, Kingston. Good old fashioned Kingston. This is literally just made by Kingston. So now Kingston 1927, I'm gonna keep that in mind. Now this is Hyperbrex branded, but it's a Kingston 1927. I'm gonna go look up Kingston 1927 and see if I can go find one of those. But that being said, all this together, this fabric right here is a game changer. Other wrist pads I've used, very, very, a lot of friction. Hurt your wrist, scratch your wrist. This is so smooth and soft. I was not expecting that when I opened this. I had no idea. This is so smooth and soft. The reason why I bought it once again was because of the stitching. I want something that's not gonna explode every time I use it after a week. So uh, I use wrist pads. Uh, I probably buy a new set of, I should probably buy a new, a set of wrist pads every three months and I probably only buy it about uh, once every year and the reason why is just because who wants to buy a new wrist pad every three months but now this one I think is gonna be a little bit more of an investment probably a little bit better the stitching I thought was gonna go a long way but it's not just the stitching as I'm finding out right now this fabric is really nice apparently this has cooling on the inside as well um, there's some cooling gel and also it has a memory foam so there's gonna be a little bit, I don't really need to open this one, but I kinda of wanna open both just to feel how that's gonna go. Let's do it, let's just see what it's like. I'm happy I bought two of these, man, I have to admit. So normally, this, let's, let's just recap why I did this one more time. So this would be one, now you have to imagine that this wasn't disgusting. This would be one side and this would be the other, right? And then you're kinda of playing down here, 
Now this one doesn't have any friction anymore because I put tape here and it slides, that's horrible. This has beautiful friction on the bottom. This is a nice grip, grip pad. It'll stay right on your mouse pad at your desk without moving and your arm can slide freely. That's great. Now if we do two at the same time and give it a little angle, Papa's got a brand new bag he's working with right now. Papacito's got a brand new bag alone. So yeah, it looks like I'm gonna be doing something like this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but essentially, I don't want it to be the case. It is taking up a lot of space on my desk, but this is gonna be the most comfortable I can get while playing by far. This is so much nicer, man. It's so much nicer. Here, just, just to, for some size comparison, I just did a review on this keyboard. Uh, the key move uh, diarrhea, <laughs> the key move diarrhea. So this is how much space it takes. It takes up like no space. Oh, you can't really see it. Let's just go put it on the center here. There's two here for measure, but you can see now, this takes up like no space. This keyboard, this is a really nice wrist rest. Wasn't expecting it to be so nice. Very high quality, I guess made by Kingston. I guess Kingston or HyperX is some branding of Kingston or something like that, or maybe HyperX is now licensing out Kingston stuff. Um, I've always been a fan of Kingston stuff. I've bought Kingston peripherals from back in the day uh, when I used to have Power Mac G3s and 4s. So, you know, they're, they're a reliable company of sorts, you could say. I guess HyperX is just rebranding their stuff. But in any case, this is much higher quality than I thought it was gonna be compared to some of the other things. Now, I'm not gonna even say that this is even bad quality. It's just the fact that they explode because they're glued instead of stitched on the side. So eventually the foam pops out after you use it too much, right? Okay, that wasn't necessarily bad quality, especially for the cost. It was like 10 bucks. You use it for basically six months before they explode. That's kind of worth it, right? Now, this was 17 bucks, right? But it's stitched. Honestly, you can feel the quality difference more. It's, it's so different, man. This is such a nice wrist rest. I guess I guess I do kind of wish that they had a smaller one, but I don't know. We're going to find out. I do a lot of pivoting with my elbow mostly. So my right hand, which is this, this is my mouse hand, this does a lot of sliding. And the fact that I have so much room to slide, I've made my, I may have done myself the biggest favor in the world by buying two of these. I'm not trying to go ahead and say, look at man, not only can you buy one, you can buy two. Always check in the bottom of the description. There's gonna be a link to the Amazon stuff on below, all that stuff. And I definitely appreciate the support. But aside from that, really, I uh, buying two of these is much better than buying one. Um, I guess most people would say, just buy you know a big one and a small one. I don't think I'm ever gonna use a small one again. Also, I don't think I'm ever gonna use a cheap one again, man. This is really nice. I, like I, the the thought process is, you can buy one expensive one for nine, for seventeen bucks, or I can buy two cheap ones and not even really care about it for twenty bucks, and then it's you don't have to worry about it. And then when it breaks in a year, it's fine. Hopefully this doesn't break in six months. I'm assuming I only get about a year out of this, but I do play a lot of video games, so it is what it is. Anyway, guys, I appreciate it. Thank you guys for tuning in. And if you like the video, as always, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and definitely check me out on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Uncle Muscles. Also, Uncle Muscles and all the social medias. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Peace out.